Afternoon gents, time for another electric guitar video. Today we're going to do a scale. We're going to do something a little more complicated than a pentatonic scale. I'm going to skip some of these standard major scale patterns and we're going to jump into some three note per string patterns and uh, this will be part one of seven. Oh, yeah, part one of seven because there's seven modes and we're going to go through each mode and each pattern. So there'll be seven patterns at the end of the series. And we're going to start with the first uh, pattern and uh, we're going to learn it right here, right here, starting on G. Okay, so we're going to do everything in the key of G. I like the key of G a lot because uh, it's easy to play in and it translates very easy to E minor as well. And if you're playing metal, E minors, it's the key. Everything's in E minor. So, really simple. Um, what these scales are about is about having three notes on each string and we'll, we'll talk about sort of what that through note per string pattern really will end up giving you. So um, it starts right here, finger one on the third fret of the sixth string, and uh, we call this our one mode, our Ionian mode. It's the same as a major scale. Starts here, of course it does not end on a G, it ends um, up on this high C, it ends a fourth above G. So we're gonna start here, finger one, and finger two on the fifth fret, and finger four on the seventh fret. Notice this five fret stretch I have, G, a, B, so that's finger one, two, four, G, A, B, and I love this mode because everything's in string pairs, so you go up to the fifth string and you do the exact same thing, a five fret stretch, one, two, four, okay, now if this stretch is a little hard down in this position, you can always transfer it up to a higher position, like maybe start on the twelfth fret. That's a little bit easier to do, but for here we're going to do it down in the third position because eventually we will go up to that um, that low Korean mode, which is going to go up very high. So here we are, one, two, four. That's on third fret, fifth fret, seventh fret. Then you're going to go third fret, fifth fret, seventh fret again. So one, two, four, one, two, four. Then um, you're going to imagine the same pattern. Fingers two and four are still gonna line up on the fifth and seventh fret, but finger one is gonna move from the third in, and we're gonna have back our little four fret box. One, two, four, one, two, four. Finger one moves in. Now we're on the fourth fret. One, two, four again. That's fret four, fret five, fret seven. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the third string. One, two, four. So one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four. With the first finger moving from lining up on the third to the fourth. One, two, four on fret, three, five, seven. One, two, four, three, five, seven. Moving the first finger in. One, two, four on four, five, seven. One, two, four on four, five, seven. Now from here, we're going to shift our whole hand up one fret. Finger one's going to be on the fifth fret now. We're going to go one, three, four. Now we're ending on G. We've done a G major scale. Okay, and then we're going to do the same pattern there on the first string. One, three, four. So it's one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four, one, three, four. Each pair of strings, adjacent strings, is the same. Five fret stretch, four fret stretch, slide up. One, three, four, one, three, four. And that's the pattern, okay? It's very simple. Practice it going up. Practice it going up. Practicing it going down. Okay, let's talk a little bit about right hand for this. One of the reasons I love the three note per string scales is that it makes, uh, gives us a lot of variety for the right hand. We don't have to do that strict up and down picking, we can actually do uh, what's called uh, economy picking um, in a lot of circles. And what economy picking is, is rather than doing this strict down, down, up, down, up the whole time, we're actually going to go down, up, down, down, up, down. So we're in our standard picking pattern, we're actually landing on this string and coming back up. So it goes down, up, down, 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 down, up, down. So we can do the same thing. Down, up, down, 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 down, up, down. 
And you go backwards, it's just the reverse. Up, down, up, 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 up, down, up. Okay? So it lets you do like fairly fast scale runs if you're good at it. Um, you can get some really, really good, nice, fast economy picking going. Okay, so there's one reason that I like it. So you can do economy picking when we're playing through the entire scale. Another reason I like it is it makes playing arpeggios actually very, very easy. So we're going to get a little bit closer here on the left hand as we do this. Um, if you know that there's three notes on each string, okay, three notes on each string, what we're going to end up doing is what we're going to end up is we're going to be skipping notes. So there's three notes, two outside, one inside on each string. So when you want to play arpeggios, you just skip every other note, and you can play all kinds of cool arpeggios, up to the 7th, 9th, 11th, 13th if you want. So if we start a, if we want to do a G major 7 arpeggio, G, there's the 3rd, B, there's the 5th, D, there's the major 7, F sharp. There's the 9th, 11th, and we can even go up there. Right? Back up to the 7th. Up to the 11th, up to the 13th. Right? So you can do a lot of different cool arpeggios. And you can start on any note in the scale, too. Start on an inside note. You just go inside, outside, inside, outside. right into a scale from there. So I really like these. Outside, inside, outside, inside. Inside, outside, inside, outside. Okay, so it's really good for playing a lot of different arpeggios. Um, for playing fast in general, and because all of our finger movements are symmetrical across the strings, it makes for a lot of cool patterns. So that's mode number one. We're going to take the same approach when we do mode number two, uh, which is the Dorian mode, uh, and that'll start up on A. So practice this one in G. And you could practice it in any key. In fact, you should practice it in a lot of different keys. All you have to do is take the pattern that starts on the third fret, move it to any fret you want. You could play in B major. All right, so have fun with that. Keep practicing. Hope you're having a great week. Uh, feel free to visit my Facebook at facebook.com slash... David Van Dyke Stewart. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.